Hey guys, welcome back to Shep Talk and welcome back to another unboxing video. Today I have a very special envelope. Um, this really came in, my friend had to receive it for me or order it for me due to the fact at work the company this is from my work doesn't like it for some reason it's blocked <laughs> so I couldn't order it and I knew it was extremely limited and it was going to sell out. This is the first pin because of the of the line and I know I said the only ones I'd pretty much collect before were My Hero Academia and then Star Wars I'm always going to try to collect. So let's go ahead and open this up so that way I can show you guys what I got. So yeah, there's the receipt. Make sure there's nothing else in there. There is not. So I'm going to pull it out of this plastic bag for you guys so that way you can see it a little better. So yeah, so I got the Luke Skywalker Hoth pin. Um, this is Big Pin's first Star Wars pin, so I definitely wanted to get that, and it's only one of a thousand. They just came out with, back, what, Father's Day weekend, they did a Mandalorian set, I think it was four or five pins, for like a hundred bucks. I did get that. Uh, they kept the order open through the whole weekend. It's a limited edition run. And they came back with the numbers that that run was only 2,900 pins, or 2,900 orders. So, yeah, under 3,000 pieces. I still think that's pretty good. But, oh. so you get the nice little back and board right there. And then there's the pin out of its case and out of off the back what I like about big pins is that you put the back on here and they pretty much can stand you know like this so you can keep them out of box if you want but of course you know most people don't because what most people are going to do is just keep it in here so that way it stands and that way you have it standing on its bag and board but oops <laughs> big pin also has an app and I'll try to get a picture of it. But they have what they do, and one reason I take it out of the box is that they have their app, but they have a serial number on the back here. And so what you do is you will add it to your collection. Okay, so I'll try to show you guys. So that's like my collection right there. And then if you enter the serial number, so let me go ahead and do that. I do have the first, I'll, you know, let me snap a picture of it so that way, oops. <laughs> I'll put it up here. So I have a first edition lot A. Um, I have volume one of 1980. Sequence, I have the 323rd of 1980 and then I hit my adapt, add to my collection. Congrats, I've added to my collection. So that is what my my history of my Funko or my fig pin looks like. And I'll make sure I take some pictures of it. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys though because I think it's pretty cool. Let me put it back into its holder here. So let me know down in the comments down below, guys. Do you guys collect these little fig pins? Um, what line do you collect? Like I said, I have My Hero Academia. Um, though I haven't really been collecting as many. There's a lot more out there than I have right now. Um, I, I'm pretty much going to start the Star Wars collections because I just got on board with the first one. I did order the Mandalorian box set, which isn't supposed to come out to the fall. I will definitely do an unboxing with that one. Um, but yeah. So let me know down in the comments down below, guys. Do you guys collect fig pins? What series do you collect? Um, so, but that is all I have time for today. If you haven't done so already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button right over there. And if you did enjoy this video, check out this one over here. I'm sure you'll enjoy that one as well. But guys, thank you for watching, and I'll see you at the next review.